Okay, folks, I like whiskey a lot, and here we are, and you can see the, basically a galaxy over there, and some of you probably know that, and hey, how come stupid, how can you know, I don't waste my time looking at a lot of the way far off stuff sometimes. Uh, if you do, you want to look at all the telescopes, the, the, the pictures that uh, the telescope up in, uh, up in space has taken, and we're looking at Saturn is what we're interested in. Guy, let me take a look at it. And if you go to Google, this is one of the reasons why I don't like Google. But you go over to Google, and he was interested in seeing the colors and stuff that's at Saturn. And you go ahead and you zoom in on Saturn a little bit. So Google, you play with the infrared, and you play with the microwave, and you'll get a shot of Saturn right now. So I suggest people to look at Saturn and see what's going on, telescope-wise and stuff that you can see, because there it is, okay, and I don't know if I can pull in a little bit, this is from Google, so but like I say, you got to basically, you have to play with the infrared, you're going to get that black out, so they're hiding something from us. I either hiding something from us because if you pull this down and pull the microwave off and pull the infrared up, they got a big block out. Okay, then when you play with the microwave, you can pull in what they are blocking out. Okay, so there's something interesting to Saturn. Okay, so take a look at Saturn. Let's go to whiskey again. So I.e. got the sun. Pluto, Mercury is always close to the well in the white sun, Venus, Neptune, Saturn, Mars, okay, Jupiter on the back door, and Uranus. That's why I say basically over here with Neptune and Uranus on our back door, because basically this goes around 360 degrees, on our back door here is very dark, as you can see, dark space dark space so that watch the last video showing you that big object up there at our back door right now on earth okay so currently shot of whiskey on Saturn and that's zoomed in I think I've got it on the infrared to be able to see it So, Saturn, Nebula, and Aquarius, unknown distance on whiskey. Astro photo survey, and then basically, uh, you get these different ones. So I could go to Alpha surveys and stuff like that, but I'm, I ain't going to waste my time with that right now. But this is an astro photo survey, so this is actual photos from out there. Saturn. And so the idea that Saturn's got a hell of a lot of moons, too. I believe it's like 13 of them or something like that. There's more than what's commonly known for moons on Saturn. And I even found another one, I thought, or at least seen one very close or a planet close to Saturn. It's got to be one of their moons. I there's a hexagon more than or something up on the top of uh, Saturn. We know that. We've gotten these photos here from out of space so there is something that's blocked out they block out a lot and NASA does or somebody authority blocks out and we can see that there's something actually drawn on See, this is a block out but we can see that there's actually something drawn on the top of Saturn okay and I presume and assume a lot but with this here and this here shot here I really presume it's what we see that's been painted on earth on a lot of rocks okay Either that or it's a horseshoe or something, okay? So, because there is something up there and they block it out, don't let you see what it is on Saturn. And then there's one of uh, the moons that I ended up seeing on one of the shots that they had. There's the rings, and, and they're massive. The rings are massive, and, and the moons are massive also on, and basically you can see it right there. There's a little moon there. So there is possibly even more moons than what... And they recently have found more moons up there on Saturn. Than, so there's a lot of stuff up by Saturn. It's very interesting right now. So all over space, very interesting. Right now, all these red specks that you see on the screen are comets. 
that we are, are known and tracked by NASA. Okay. And basically there is objects, positions, large planets that are known to be moving around. And there's your date. You watch your clock down there. And Earth and the Sun are pretty much dead straight in the in the crosshairs there. So all this asteroid belt and stuff like that is just like what we've seen a little bit earlier on Whiskey. Okay, and then also watch two videos back. Watch my Woo Wow, I think is what I put on in there. So there's your comet map. All those little red specks are comets, and most all these are all planets. Okay, and the Earth is pretty much right dead center. Earth and then the sun. We follow the sun. The sun is in the supergiants. Here's our current daytime map also. Showed you the one earlier. There's another map to look at. Okay. And you can even see objects. In daytime sunlight, as you can see, we have two stars there. Okay. Daytime sunlight. I think I can get up to 200%. Love to give you a little bit of a better view of that. So this is daytime right there. Daytime from arrow is pointing north. North. This arrow here points north, and basically that's sky view. And there's another one I can see now too, right there. These are live views right now. So we may have Santa Claus there, but I doubt it. I think it's an object in space, dark object. Probably what we see over in Hawaii early a.m because that'll move west. So Santa's fine. I was sitting in for an elf last week feeding the reindeer and Santa's going to be fine and I think he's going to be going to work pretty soon. So to save time on video, here we got more objects seen down in. You can see the times right here. This is today, uh, yesterday or basically today, you know, because it'll be yeah, it'll still be the 24th there down there for a little while. I don't have my UTC Zulu clock on right now. And then there's a terahydrin. Basically, it's there. And that was a zoom in shot there. Zoomed in at a thousand percent. So that might be our object that we have, our dark object from the earlier video today. The earlier 24th video I made today. And also right there, as you can see there. So, and you can pretty much this is all today I think that's the clock on that and then I zoomed in on these so started zooming in on these and yes we know the stakes out there that's the stake okay I believe that's the stake either that or it's the terahydrin but there is a stake that they put out there also they had some terahydrin here and you can see this here I'm hoping you can see it you watch all these on full screen and they actually even pulled one of the groomers out one of their vehicles that they used and they groomed a little bit to see the size or judge the size of this here. This here star or constellation that's going down to Earth. So if you watch the video down there, you'll see that. And we have a very straight, this one here, object. And you've seen the clock on that. This was zoomed in on that time right there. And we got another, that's uh, another object there I've got. And basically, that's the time on that one there, right down there. Then we have this wild object, and no, it's not a bird, ladies and gentlemen. And we also have triangulation here, and I do believe that's the stake that they've got out there that we've had out there for a long time. But I could be wrong on that, and that could be part of the triangulation. You got to check it out. Uh, maybe the stake that they've got maybe has gotten blown over with snow by now. But I think this is a tet triangulation tetrahydron. Oh, I see the stake now. You can barely, I think, see the stake right around there. I think, but so. We've got that object there, and there's a roof on one of these other cabins that they used to come out and plug into the line. You've seen the cabins before that they plug into the line. There's Terahydrin, and they're zoomed in on that object. It's not a bird, ladies and gentlemen. It's an object in outer space. Black light getting projected down to Earth. And this is at, I think I'll have the timing again for that. And the idea to judge this size when you're watching the video, you know it's not a bird, and you know it's not by zooming in on it. And also, by the size of the roof on this on that roof of that trailer that's plugged into the power line that comes out here. They run that out as a power line and a walk line at Nehemiah. Okay, and there's the time on this object. Okay, and then that roof on that vehicle is down there, so you watch for that in the video and you'll see that that is a big object there. Okay, and there's, there's ter ter terahydrin there. 
Terra meaning Earth, that it comes down to Earth. Okay, black light, ladies and gentlemen, during the daytime. Okay, there's some shots. Uh, be interesting to watch what we get tonight because the idea that there should be an eclipse probably with the moon. So we want to thank the German scientists for those shots. And then basically this is the British deal now. And then December 24th, that's an object that I blew up right there. And it's, you can tell that the date that it's still there when I blew up on it. That's the one we keep on seeing there. Now this is sunlight when it comes up, okay, folks? That's what it looks like when the sun comes up. It's 6 a.m., okay? And a little bit earlier, like 5 something, 5.35, 5.45 something. You have to look to see what time the sun comes up. Comes up in the east, okay? And then these objects were caught up there. Terahydrons, basically a lot of this stuff kind of right here matches what we've seen on the German footage that I was able to show you that a guy had and what we've seen down at uh, Casey Station. And hopefully maybe if i got time I'll pop through these real fast and there's, as you can see, another, and you can see a very interesting terahydron there. Tetrahydrons in the sky, more than likely objects, comets in triangulation going by our sky down in South Pole, Antarctica. This is all from the British station. Merry Christmas to everybody, the German scientists, every scientist that's down there in the Antarctic area. Antarctica is humongous and they do some great research down there. Every country, every scientist down there. To the crawfish, to any fish that's in there, and the penguins, the seals, their whole nine yards. And so we get the object again and also we get it at uh, one of the generators and there it is rising at basically straight up midnight, 12 and point one oh oh second or something like that of today Christmas Eve. So that object, that sun comes up basically right there and you can see objects out in front of this too and I need to blow up and look at this that we always see there and these other triangulation constellations up there. So it's worth looking at the uh, British stuff today if you can and this is where the generator's at and if you know we don't get the objects not in front of it at that time. Okay, but it does go in front of it at the later time. i.e. later time there when it's at the station at the airstrip in the British shots okay so same cameras I mean same type of cameras so doesn't show up there it's not there but it, not there but it ends up showing up coming up in front of it later and as you see it's trailing in as you can see there's a, a vapor to the moving in on the more than likely Rigelcantaris B or Proximi Centauri. Alright, so some very interesting shots. Now we've always known about this object for a long time. It's been sh showing up on Soho for years and the Catholic Church even put a telescope up on the, on one of the space shuttles back in 2000 something. I think it was 2006, could have been earlier. Now that's Comet Lovejoy to the left, but we know this object's always up there. So let's go to space. Uh, on Soho shot and so we'll probably end up seeing this today on a shot. Check this out. <laughs> Quickly from Fireball, we still have that bright object up there. And you can go to, to find Telahoma, which direction is north and so forth. I believe that's north. So and check the times and so forth and so on. This here is at like 4 UTC Zulu. So the idea that it's showing up down in Antarctica and also up there. Remember, no money for the videos, so watch them all. This is a recent one today. You need to watch that one. And happy holidays, everybody. And watch all the movies. That They've added up. I've got a lot of them. Okay, so watch them all. And I'm wondering if we can see that object, folks, because we step here. We're going to see, first off, what caught my eye was this here. Okay. And it lasts for 15 minutes as you see the clock. Okay, that dark object. Because that has to be an object that's not just a flare. As you can see, it's got a crooked line to it. Okay. So either that or it's also just a flare hitting out below as I'll zoom in on like this at a 400% and this might be our exact same object in because there is a roundness right here. Okay, as you follow from here there's a roundness here and there's also a roundness right here. Merry Christmas everybody.